Okay, so today, um, overview of how to build interfaces and how to implement them, and also how to do dependency injection in Golang. Okay, so we start with um, defining an interface with the keyword interface. So type the name of your interface and then the keyword interface. Uh, and then you can define a bunch of signatures. So this one will be get users uh, and then speed back a string. Then we can implement it with um, a struct. So default database struct, nothing to construct it. And then um, to implement the interface, we just define a instance method on this struct that we defined. So then um, the struct name and then just um, the signature of your interface, basically. Right, and then we can just return a string. We can run the Bob, for instance. And um, let's define uh, another one as well. So let's define um, a greeter, for instance. So another interface. Type greeter interface, and we can just define one method there. Uh, so you could have greet with a string, the username, for instance, and speed back uh, nothing. Okay, let's implement it. So same uh, as the database so we can implement a um, nice greeter for instance and then the same defining the instance method implementing the the interface basically so then uh, greet and then we can just um, log a message basically there hello then the name and then just passing the username basically all right so we have two independent uh, components so um, you have the greeter and you have the database one so now let's define um, the program. So the program will just be the execution from the main. So a program is a struct, so then it needs a database and a greeter. But here I'm referencing to the interfaces. So database interface and then greeter interface. And then um, Okay, so let's uh, instantiate a program. So p equal program and then with a db and a greeter. So we need to provide a db and a greeter. So let's um, give a db. So the only one we define is a default database. So we just build that. And the greeter, we just have uh, the nice greeter, basically. So nice greeter. So then we can pass that to the program. All right, let's do something with our program. So um, instance method on the program. So a program will have the um, uh, execute method. It's going to um, get the user from the database. So then uh, program.db and then dot get user and then the greeter just passing the users from the database to greet it. And then we can invoke in the main uh, program execution. Let's try that. And there you go. It's calling um, the log line 22 from the greeter using the username we passed down by the default database, Bob line 12. Okay, so this is how you do um, uh, building two interfaces, two implementations, and then um, doing dependency injection in the program, basically. Uh, all right, so then um, let's try to define another implementation for this database. So 
you just define another struct. So let's call it, uh, for instance, famous database. Uh, famous. And let's implement the, the interface again, the method. Okay, so we can uh, return um, another name rather than Bob, um, like that. And then in the dependency injection part, so we can just uh, swap the default database by the famous database. And there you have, hello Will Smith. Okay, so Let's uh, modify slightly the database interface and just add um, another method, basically. Get all users, for instance, uh, which is, uh, for instance, spitting back a slice of strings. Okay, so how does it work in terms of dependency ingestion? You can see that Go is, compil is a compiling error, saying it cannot use the famous database anymore as database interface there you go because one method is missing basically you can't so if you just implement this uh, signature get all users uh, spitting back a slice of string everything should be fine all good we have with Miss back. So final thoughts about solid principles. So you can see how um, our component program is respecting the dependency in version one at, as um, program is relying on in the interface databases and uh, greeter and not, not their implementations. And you could see how easy it was to swap the implementation default database in favor of the famous database. Um, this change was invisible from the point of view of the um, struct program. Um, about our database interface, so we broke two principles. So the first one was the interface segregation because we made this interface, the database interface, wider by adding another met method, the get all users. And so immediate consequence for that was that we broke um, our two only implementations, default database and famous database. A countermeasure for that would be to compose interfaces, basically. And the second one, obviously, was the um, uh, single responsibility one where our interface um, didn't have any more um, one uh, responsibility. Um, thanks for watching. Happy coding.